this video I want to show you how to replace the wheel bearing or hub assembly on 2000 and this is a 2002 Chevy 2500 HD 8 loads it's a simple job to do you can start by raising the vehicle up there's the way I do it is I stick my screwdriver right here flat flat head give it a little loosen the um, caliper up a little bit so we can have a little plate to slide it out the all from the brake rotor after that we're gonna go to the back all the way to the back don't take the caliper off but we're gonna take from the bracket off we're gonna take this 25 a 21 millimeter bolt this other 20 21 millimeter bolt uh -huh. Go ahead and take this 10 millimeter bolt that holds the brake line. And I got it loose. And as you can see, I already got the top bolt off from the caliper. So we're gonna. <clears throat> Take the bottom bolt off. What we're gonna do with it? We're gonna get it to the top. Just put it to the side. I'm gonna have to get something to tie it from here to the to the uh, shock not on top over there so i won't have no accident dropping it from there and uh, everything should be cool from there all you, all you need is to <coughs> hold it aside so it won't be on the way by when you're doing the taking this thing off from here take the rotor out see it's a simple 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 job and I had to take this um, Allen head bolt right there. And if you look at the back, you got four bolts. They gotta be 15 millimeters bolts. Take them out, knock this thing out. Cut the video just for a second. We're gonna go find a tool to get this one out. All right, five millimeter head. head. Bracket. You take that out. Why we're taking this out? Gotta take the ABS sensor out. Just gotta pull it out. I think. Probably have to get a little bit of help. No. See that? It will just come out. Now we got left is take this 15 millimeter bolt off. Oh. Let's see if we're right. Yep, 15 millimeter right. Bolt. Oh. That one. What I did is I went inside the cab and turned turned the wheel all the way to the left, so, so I can have really good clearance. <clears throat> to get the bolts out <clears throat> I mean it's not that we got it perfect but at least we're gonna try get them all out from here if we can't we're just gonna we're gonna have to do it by manually <laughs> not with the gun but stay with me one second Trying to not cut the video, but we'll try to fix this thing right here. It's a little extension, half inch extension. It's 
we're gonna need more than one hand to do this. Right, we then got it out. All four bolts out. And then after you got all four bolts out, this thing should just come right out. All right, we got it in there. Four bolts. Ready to be tightened down. I will do a good time to come about the door. Oh. Gotta do now. It's uh put it put it back together, tighten it down. Keep them going, but as you see we done got it in there. Really easy. But it takes two hands to do it. So as we go. Alright guys. And girls out there. Now you got it back together. I haven't tightened it down yet, but I just wanted to show you how it looks. It's just been done. Until I got the uh, 21 millimeter bolts ready to be tightened down. And we just got to unplug the ABS sensor from over there. It's an easy one. I know you can figure that one out, but I just wanted to share this video. We still got to, got to do the other side, but it will be the same process. So. Please leave a comment if you like the video and till the next video.